All right, let's take a look. Here we have the very, very lows. These don't have that much automation in them. It's just this uh, pitch shift that's giving it some movement. So this is supposedly the sub, but you know, given the samples, it's pretty hard to make a single sub sound. So the low end is just a combination of a lot of a lot of different sounds. But I thought these sounded pretty cool, and the channel itself has some EQ, it's just low passed and pitched down again Raum it gives it uh, I, I could actually take this reverb off it doesn't do much but the main point is the feedback it's giving it that kind of metallic ring uh, this is just something that I slap on a channel and it just makes it loud and some more EQ kind of like trying to uh, dig out those nasty resonant frequencies. On top of that, for some reason, I wanted to have this. It's just there to give some, you know, uh, trash into the sound. I mean, it could work without it. It's one of those things that you just kind of. Uh, it has to be there for some reason and it just has saturation and OTT and pitching this is what it pretty much sounds like without any plugins let's take a look at the uh, more interesting middle low mid mid blow stuff movement Uh, well, this is just like a noise layer. Uh, let's see what it's made of. I'm gonna bypass everything. Uh, it's random noisy parts of the recordings. And a lot of these have uh, pretty much the same stuff. Again, it's just smashed to bits. Uh, some reverb, a flanger, 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 EQ and frequency shift. And we are, uh, in this we are making the movement with the uh, frequency shift, pretty much. And here we have a bit more uh, modulation going on. Just a second. Oh no, why are you doing this? No, okay. So, so let's take a listen again without any plugins. <laughs> it's, oh my god. Because I, I don't even remember what sounds I've used. This is one of the tremolo heavy sounds and just pitch. I think the semitone. Uh, so you could do more drastic and I think the uh, because it's always one semitone, you get these kind of like artifacts, or it's more like a square shape instead of going with sense, it's a bit more uh, smoother. So just the up and down movement, and some phaser, and again, OTT. It's like either I used a digital drum compressor or OTT to like really bring stuff in your face. Warping rip. Oh, yeah. This is. This is where I feel like I'm kind of like cheating because Fracture is doing like all of the sound basically. So without Fracture, it adds this like super nice lasery. And after that, we have Tremolo for some extra movement. This doesn't have much going on, it's just a nice ghosty layer. I would that have the picture. And then the zips and zaps. It's just a very pitched down 
sound with again some god damn so just a pitch down sound with some pretty rough uh, pitch envelopes and also this uh, bandpass filter just a note here that I forgot to mention uh, the bandpass automation on all of the other tracks you can see the blue automation line on most of the tracks so they all have bandpass automation going from high to low and again I've been messing with the play rate of the whole project again like the source material does not really matter and then we have the end hit okay that's just I don't know what the hell that is again pitch shifting and it's just some kind of layer and I mean then you put it all together and <laughs> I don't know, when I'm breaking it down it just seems like there's nothing really there, but... Well, let's take a look at the highs as well, so... Uh, we have the riser. I thought it would be appropriate that the player kind of knows when the... Uh, ship is gonna leave the bay, <laughs> or whatever. And it's... Well, actually I didn't use the... Uh, well, Valhalla here, but yeah. Just pitch shifting up. In this, I used uh, sense because I wanted to, you know, it had to be smooth. Amazing. And it's this is just like a looped little part of the recordings pitched uh, way up. Oh my god. Sounds great. And then Raum. Again with the feedback. And I thought like, this gives like a really nice metallic sound. I guess I could have used this. I'm not sure. And then we have this ghostly shimmer again, pitched up. Let's see what the sound is. Nice. So pitch. Okay. And then after the reverb, when you frequency shift, ah, so good. And for the portal, more screaming like pitch shifting, Raum, frequency shifter, Valhalla. And then this really, really high. Uh, for this, again, I used Fracture. Here it's like really doing the whole of the sound. But before that, we had... Again, pitch shifting, frequency shift, a comb filter. You know, to give it some resonance. I mean, I think this could have worked as well. Even without the fractures. But they do sound nice. But that's about it. Thanks.